And good evening. Thank you for being with us, everybody. Our top story, new information tonight about a shooting near a North Portland high school. We've now learned four people with ties to Rosemary Anderson were hurt in the shooting that happened around noon today. The victims ran into the school to take cover, and the suspect still on the loose tonight. Police say he may have ties to gangs. The shooting happened just steps away from the high school at the intersection of North Borthwick and North Killingsworth Court. We have live team coverage. Joe Douglas has been looking into the school and its background, but we want to begin with Carrie Tomlinson. And Carrie, you spoke to the cousin of one of the victims. That's right. She's a student here at Rosemary Anderson High School. You can't really see it now in the dark, but it's basically in a storefront here on this street. She says it's an open campus at lunchtime. She stayed. Her cousin left the building. She then heard something like a bop, 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 and she said someone ran into the cafeteria at the school where she was and said, he's been shot. Well, that he turned out to be her cousin. The student we talked with is Queenie Hillman, age 17. She says next, her cousin came stumbling into the school, holding his stomach and bleeding. He went down on the ground in front of the girl's bathroom. She says she tried to run to help him, but could not. The teachers was pushing me back, and I didn't want to go back, so I was basically kind of fighting them because I wanted to see if he was okay. And then, like, my friend had to pull me back, too. I was like, no, because that's my cousin. <laughs> She says they brought him into the girls' bathroom to treat him and blocked off the girls' bathroom, and there was a lot of blood. He was taken to the hospital, and we believe at this time he's in serious condition. Now, I just spoke to, in the last few minutes, the head of Rosemary Anderson High School, who says the staff is meeting right now to figure out just what to do. They plan to be open on Monday. They'd like to be open on Monday, although they're not sure, but they believe students would like to come and get some sort of counseling or be able to discuss what has happened. He also confirmed that all four victims were students here at the school. Reporting live in North Portland, Carrie Tomlinson, K2 News. Terribly frightening day for a whole lot of folks. Carrie, thank you very much. And students caught in the middle of the drama immediately turned to social media. And one of them shared a screen grab of a text conversation they had with their mother. The mom writes, I love you, baby. You're going to be fine. Don't panic, sweetie. I love you. And the daughter then responds, love you too, but this is scary. Now, the shooting put nearby schools and businesses into lockdown, including Jefferson High School and Portland Community College. This is video one PCC student shot as alarms started going off in class. We also met a student outside PCC who had just gotten off the max and was heading to class when he heard the alarms and saw helicopters overhead. He wasn't going anywhere, though. He had to turn in his final. The On Your Side investigators have dug up school records and reports indicating that many of the students at Rosemary Anderson have ties to gangs. Our team coverage continues now with On Your Side investigator Joe Douglas. And Joe, what kind of school is Rosemary Anderson High? It's a school for students who are at risk, who've been disciplined several times elsewhere, and the school admits many of the kids here have gang ties. Now, a lot of the students here at this school have transferred to and from multiple high schools. Some have been expelled or dropped out of public high school altogether. There are two campuses, the branch here on North Killings with Killingsworth Court near where the shooting happened and rolls up to 190 students. It's not overseen by Portland Public Schools. Now, I spoke with John Kanda, a longtime gang outreach worker who's worked with kids here and throughout the city over the years. He says gang violence has been increasing, and Portland Police Bureau spokesman Pete Simpson agrees with him. It's fluctuated. In the last couple of years, we've seen it go really high. Um, interestingly, it's been fairly quiet the past few months. This opens a lot of wounds for the neighborhood that has worked really hard to become safer and improve. Simpson also says that gang violence has spread out all over the city beyond North and Northeast Portland and that a lot of it has moved east. Simpson emphasized that they don't know yet if this shooting was gang related, though he tells me it does seem likely right now. This school has seen its share of violence back in 2010. The school's first ever prom king was killed in a shooting just 12 days after graduating. Live in North Portland, Joe Douglas, K2 News. Joe, thank you. And people in that neighborhood have been trying for years to put a stop to this kind of violence. 
This summer, dozens of teens teamed up with the city to paint a street mural. They wanted to show they have a voice in the community, and they want to use that voice to make a positive change. Stay with K2 News for continuing coverage of the story, and be sure to check out our website, Facebook page, and Twitter feed for updates when we're not on the air.